Thanks, Corinne. Uh, one follow-up on Next Benedict and then another on a yeah. separate subject. Given that Nexus family said they had been bullied in the months prior to their death, specifically about their gender identity, and the family also says that Nex was physically assaulted the day prior to their death, does the White House think that this case should be the subject of a federal hate crime investigation? I'm going to be really careful. That is something for the Department of Justice to decide on. I cannot speak to that. Obviously, our hearts go out uh, to um, to Nex Benedict's family. It is a tragedy that is awful. And I said this at the beginning, and I'll say it again, uh, every kid should feel safe uh, and should feel protected when they go to school. And this should not be the case. But that is something, as far as any legal action, that's something for the Department of Justice to decide. And then the Florida Surgeon General defied CDC guidelines this week, suggesting it's fine to send unvaccinated kids to school amid a measles outbreak there. This comes as the CDC says that routine childhood vaccinations hit a 10-year low in 2023, putting about a quarter of a million kindergartners at risk for measles. Does the administration support tightening the kinds of philosophical and religious exemptions that are increasingly being used to defy school childhood vaccine mandates? Um, and what else is the administration doing to promote the importance of childhood vaccines, especially against the backdrop of this nationwide uptick in measles outbreaks? So just uh, a couple of things. Uh, as it relates to the outbreak, the CDC is actively uh, monitoring uh, these cases. And uh, as you know, we have the White House uh, Office of Pandemic Preparedness and Response remains in close and regular contact as we continue to, to work uh, and monitor what's going on on the ground. And we want to make sure that communities feel safe, uh, obviously. So any questions on specifically on that, uh, I would refer you to the CDC. Uh, look, uh, you know, responding to measles outbreaks, which are now obviously occurring in every uh, region uh, of the world is a priority for this administration. Uh, measles, measles, as you know, is highly contagious, uh, infect, infectious, uh, contagious infection, uh, but it is uh, easily prevented with routine child, uh, childhood vaccines. We are providing technical support to the, for example, to the World uh, Health Organization and UNICEF, and we're donating uh, as well, uh, make sure that there's a vaccine alliance, uh, which has uh, provided millions of measles and other uh, vaccine doses to low and, and low middle income countries. So uh, we are monitoring this. Uh, it is important that uh, obviously uh, we uh, do everything we can uh, to mitigate the situation. Uh, but CDC is actively aware, obviously actively monitoring these cases that we're seeing across the country.